Privacy and security are among the top priorities for organizations. Customers trust you to handle their data in a responsible and secure way, and they expect you to respect their consent preferences. While customers expect personalized one-to-one -one experiences that are contextual and consistent in an omnichannel world, they won't allow you to misuse their data. It takes a long time to build confidence, but one simple mistake will be enough to make customers lose their trust in your organization. With the concepts of privacy, consent, data governance and security in mind, Adobe have now launched a new add-on offering, Privacy and Security Shield. Privacy and Security Shield is a combination of advanced capabilities that enable brands to store, manage and enforce data governance and consent policies in an automated way, to manage encryption of customer data in a custom way, and to apply data minimization concepts by defining and enforcing data set expiration settings. Every Adobe Experience Platform customer already has access to several out-of-the-box features that are included in the base license. Privacy Service, which enables access, control and delete requests from customers in the context of regulations like GDPR, CCPA and others. Marketer-driven consent workflows, whereby customer consent can be used by a marketer to determine which types of communications can be sent to which customer. Role-based access controls, which make it possible to manage who has access to which environment, segment, feature or attribute. User activity audits, which record user activity in the platform using audit logs. Data usage labeling and enforcement, or also known as DUAL, allows you to label data attributes to then define policies that are enforced automatically and decide how that data can or cannot be used. Dataset expiration, which enables the automated deletion of all data in a dataset. And also encryption. All data utilized in Adobe Experience Platform is encrypted in transit. And that data is also encrypted at rest in the platform using system managed keys. Encryption at rest is a hot topic these days and many organizations who need to maintain tighter control over the encryption of their data, as well as industries with a strong regulatory requirements, such as the financial services industry and telecommunications, are looking at owning and managing the encryption key that is used for their data in a custom way, instead of using system managed keys. The Privacy and Security Shield add-on now makes it possible at an additional cost, and as such, you can now connect your own Microsoft Azure Key Vault to Adobe Experience Platform and basically replace the system managed key by a customer managed key. And when a customer managed key is configured, it becomes your organization's responsibility to manage the encryption key, to manage key rotation, and also to manage your key vaults. But in return, you gain the ability to control access to your customer's data in Adobe Experience Platform. So when you decide to revoke Adobe's access to your customer data, by removing Adobe's access to your key vault, all data in Adobe Experience Platform effectively becomes unusable. Let's have a look at the process of enabling customer managed keys and at what happens when access to the key is revoked. Before we go into the details of the setup, I just wanted to specify that the customer managed keys implementation you'll see next will encrypt all data that is stored in Adobe Experience Platform using a customer managed key in both the real-time customer profile and the data lake. As you may have learned in my architecture overview video, the real-time customer profile environment uses Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB and the data lake uses Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage. If you also want to enable customer managed keys for customer journey analytics, please note that there's an additional and similar process to follow. It's also worth noting that data that is stored on the edge, which uses Amazon AWS technology, currently isn't affected by the customer managed keys setup. And as a reminder, the Edge is a distributed network of servers that act as a pass-through mechanism. Data that is stored at the Edge is intended for short-term storage, and the duration of that storage is something that you can manage yourself using our Edge APIs. Enabling customer managed keys is a one-off process. Once you've enabled customer managed keys, that's it. You've moved away from system managed keys, and it's also important to know that you currently can't revert back to system managed keys. Enabling customer managed keys for Adobe Experience Platform starts in Microsoft Azure, where you need to create a key vault according to your organization's security policies. When creating the key vault, it is required to enable both the soft delete option 
and to enable purge protection. Remember, when you define customer managed keys and you accidentally delete them, your Adobe Experience Platform instance would no longer have access to your customer data. So to avoid mistakes from happening, enabling these two options is required. Next, you need to create a new key. The key type needs to be RSA and the RSA key size must be at least 3072 bits as required by Cosmos DB. Azure Data Lake Storage is also compatible with RSA 3072. Once the key is created, you can optionally verify the networking settings and potentially disable public access. If you do, then also ensure that the option to allow trusted Microsoft services to bypass this firewall is enabled. Once you have your key vault and key configured, the next step is to register for the Customer Managed Keys application that will link to your Azure tenant. Registering the CMK app requires you to make calls to Adobe Experience Platform APIs. The first step in working with Adobe Experience Platform APIs is to authenticate and receive a valid JSON Web Token, which will be valid for 24 hours. So once you have a valid token, you can advance to step one, which is to get an authentication URL, which will allow you to link the Adobe Experience Platform Azure app to your Azure instance. The redirect URL may require a small manual adjustment in case multiple directories are in use for your Azure instance. After pasting the URL in the browser, you'll now see a prompt to accept permissions for the Adobe Experience Platform Azure app. Once you've accepted this request, the Adobe Experience Platform Azure app will now be available in your own Azure instance and you can provide it with permissions to access the newly created key vault. In your key vault, under Access Control, go to Role Assignments and click Add Role Assignment. Select the role Key Vault Crypto Service Encryption User and click Next. Now click Select Members and then search for the Adobe Experience Platform Azure app, after which you can add it. And you can now finalize the role assignment process. Before proceeding with the next step, it's important to verify that you're using Azure role-based access control, which you can verify under Access Configuration. Next, go to Keys, select your key and copy the key identifier of the key you created earlier, as you'll need to provide this back to Adobe Experience Platform using an API call. By pasting the key identifier URL into the Postman call and sending the request to Adobe Experience Platform, you're basically finalizing the configuration of customer managed keys in Adobe. Once the configuration is finished, you can verify the state of the process with this third Postman request. Within a maximum of 24 hours of finishing the customer managed keys configuration, newly ingested data will immediately be encrypted using the new key. And data that's already available in Adobe Experience Platform will also be re-encrypted using the newly provided key, which is a process that may also take up to 24 hours depending on the amount of data available in the platform. Once the status is set to completed, all data in the platform in both Cosmos DB and the Data Lake will be encrypted using the new customer managed key. I've now set up a direct connection between my Adobe Experience Platform instance and my Microsoft Azure instance. The encryption key in my Azure Key Vault has been made available to the Adobe generated Azure app and all data in the real-time customer profile and the data lake has now been encrypted using that key. Every time that data in those environments is now accessed, a connection is made to that key so that the data can be read. So what happens when access to that key is revoked? First of all, revoking access to the key can be done by removing the user role assignment at the key vault level for the Adobe Azure app. Once that user role assignment is removed, within minutes up to 24 hours, Adobe Experience Platform loses the ability to read data from the real-time customer profile and the data lake. For instance, previewing a dataset doesn't complete successfully anymore as access to the encryption key is now missing. Trying to view a customer profile in the user interface also doesn't load anymore. And as you can see in the network requests, the error is due to the, to the encryption key not being accessible anymore. When trying to do the same thing via Postman and the Profile API, you can see the same error being returned. And when I try to access data using the Query Service feature of Adobe Experience Platform, that query now also errors out due to the removed access to the encryption. So while the user interface of Adobe Experience Platform is still accessible, no data can be viewed, read or accessed anymore, as long as the encryption key isn't available. When I re-enable access to the encryption key, by putting back the Key Vault Crypto Service Encryption user in the Key Vault in Azure, things will start working again within 24 hours. After re-enabling access to the key, everything that stopped working before 
will now be working again. The query and query service will return a response containing data now. Attempting to preview a data set in Adobe Experience Platform will now show a result. And accessing a customer profile now also returns the required profile attributes and events again. Next to offering you the ability to shift to using customer managed keys instead of system managed keys, Privacy and Security Shield also makes it possible to define and enforce automated consent policies and provides you with higher thresholds related to automated dataset expiration. With customer managed keys, you remain in control of your customer data following your organization's security requirements. And you can enable and disable access to that data independently at any point in time by controlling access to the encryption key.